again. It's Francis Brown at Francis Brown Art. Please, uh, thank you, brother. <laughs> so British. Thank you for joining me again. And here am I again with some vinyl and two little cups. And what I'm going to do is a kissing cup pour. I think that's what it's called. Um, at the moment, I'm on a green and blue vibe. So I'm going to continue with that by... Um, uh, doing one cup predominantly blues and one cup predominantly green so that is my plan I planned it so here we go um, I have no particular order um, but I, I'm going to try and make the colors be slightly more varying and I might do a bit, put a bit of yellow oh, go on then so that they're not all like all the dark greens together because they'll just blend um, in together. So that's the plan. That's how it happened in my head anyway. All these happened in, happen in the mind before they come onto the, onto the um, canvas. It's, like, it's not even a canvas, is it, Francis? No onto the vinyl. So it would be a bit like a tree ring pour, a double tree ring pour at the same time. I've seen it happen. It looks good when I've seen it. We'll just have to see what happens when I do it. <laughs> All the more fun. Okay, is that probably enough for half? I reckon that's enough for half. And then we're going on to um, the blue side. This is always my favorite side. Now these cups are actually quite big, so we will see how it goes. Oh, I didn't put any gold in the in the. Oh, I'm going to put a little tiny bit of gold in the in the green side. Why not? Okay, here's the blue. More blues. Oh, there's a big bubble. purple pot which has got nothing left nothing it's gonna have a drop give me a drop no oh okay <laughs> no purple you know what I'm gonna do instead I'm gonna just do a drop of pink just because I didn't get any purple you probably won't be able to see that so <laughs> all right. okay a little bit more I think we need to have the same amount I reckon uh, a bit more blue about the right that's a lot of paint to me that's a lot of paint some people use huge amounts of paint when they when they work but this is kind of how I do it so all right then I may have to stand up for this I'm just, <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing I'm perching on the edge of my chair okay I'm gonna lift and just pour wish me luck Oh, 
are you going to really concentrate? <laughs> some left in there but we'll see what happens so here we go and then I think wow that's so pretty now maybe you know next time if I do this again I might put a base layer on to help it move or we'll just do it slowly I think See why it's called a tree ring, Paul. pull off the edges with my um, fingers in a minute. There's a huge amount of paint on here. I quite like it to stay because that's so pretty. Wow. Oh, that's possibly one of my favourite ones I've ever done. What do we think? Oh, it's not finished. So I'm going to see if I can pull. Let's see what happens. Was it obvious? Or, oh, you know, I might even leave it off the rim and have a, a border of black. I've never done that before. It's always a first time. <laughs> I think I will actually. I think it will look really pretty with the with the black. Oh, that's the end of the black border. Oops. All right, probably, probably not having a black border. <laughs> no, that's not quite the black border. Oh, I love this. What do you think? I'm not even going to fire it up because I quite like it not to have too many cells. I just leave it so pretty. Wow. This is going to dry really nicely because it's got the gold and it's got the silver. Also, some of the greens are iridescent, some of the blues are iridescent. So this is going to be properly pretty. And you see that was the little tiny bit of pink that I put in. Awesome. So if you'd like to have a look at the dried result of this, then please come and have a look on my Instagram, which is where it will be in a few days when it's dry. Um, so yeah, come and check it out. Come and have a look at all my other work. It's all on there. Good. This is quite possibly my favourite one. Certainly my favourite one at the moment. <laughs> it's quite a 
funny when you when you work with vinyl you have to you, you really get to know how to how to move the paint on it to kind of cover all the bits when I first started I kept kind of leaving gaps and you know you really do learn it's a beautiful way to to use them I think right I'm going to bring you in for a close-up and see what you think Okay, so here we are. Wow, the colours are stunning. And look at all of these different bands. Wow. This is incredible. And really easy to do. I mean, you saw it, you had to concentrate a little bit, but otherwise, so pretty. So yeah, thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. You can see already the iridescent stuff going on. Pretty. Um, anyway, yeah, have a, a lovely day. I hope you are well and happy and enjoying my offerings. Okay, you take care and lots of love. Bye-bye.